hey, you did an incredible job. As as always, this was a phenomenally well organized speech, speech with a great great variety of transitions, and not only that, you successfully achieved the purpose of your speech, which I was very very fond of. And I'm going to go over a few things here, things that you excelled at, things that you can work on, and things that you can challenge yourself. As I mentioned before, very good speech. You led off with an extremely strong introduction. You had got Craig to participate. It's always awesome to get audience participation, especially when you caught Craig like he did. And now I don't know if this was prepped or not, but that was an initial air of comedy and humor involved in the speech that I thought was thought was great to kind of get you going. Your stories that you use were phenomenal. And the way you organize your stories as well, too, as sequencing throughout your life and following a an order that would go throughout your life was amazing as well. This was also a way for you to hit your objective of telling humorous stories. Uh, that was awesome. You transitioned from story to story very well as well. And not only was your speech funny, but it also had a more sentimental and deeper meaning than just for the purpose of being funny. You challenged us to assess our strengths and to build life around our strengths as well. You also had phenomenal eye contact, phenomenal gestures, and phenomenal speech and grammar that you used for us. It was very easy to understand your speech, and that was very, very helpful for the audience. Now, a few things that you work can work on and challenge yourself as well, too. There isn't really much to this, and it's really more so dedicated around making your purpose even stronger or your objective even stronger here. But one thing to work on is I noticed you had the, the headphones, the, the slinky headphones there. I'm, I'm not quite sure if this is possible, but it, it, what I've been noticing, especially in the professional setting, is it, looks, it does look a little bit better when people do have, whether it be Bluetooth or just speaking on a, on a speaker, for example, it does look a little bit better than to have the, uh, the headphones kind of kind of dangling down there. And then also to challenge yourself, I'd encourage you to use different types of humor. The humor was embedded in your stories on this time around, but I encourage you to use things such as sarcasm or irony for comedic effect when actually giving your speech and saying, I don't know, maybe some awkward and odd things and then you make a joke about it, but not necessarily always, the humor isn't always involved in what the actual story is. The humor is involved in how you tell the story, humor is involved in how you say your introduction and so forth. Other than that, it was a phenomenal speech, hey, and thank you for giving it for us.